Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to turn off shortcut name extensions in Windows. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, let's show you with File Explorer. Let's say you want to take documents and put it on your desktop as a shortcut. You automatically have the dash shortcut name added there. A lot of times you click it, you edit it so that it doesn't have the dash shortcut on it. This is a batch file. I'm just going to show you quick. We're going to make two registry changes, so if you're not sure, go ahead and back up your registry. The main reason it's a batch file instead of a registry file is because, as you can see, we're going to restart Explorer. So let's go ahead and play around here. I'm going to close Explorer, which doesn't really matter. You don't have to. It'll do it for you. Let's turn it off. We're going to right-click on the batch file, and please check the video description for a link to both the tutorial that you saw in the background and the file. We're going to run as administrator. We're going to click yes. Wait a second till the screen flashes. And then go ahead and create a new shortcut and check it out. Same thing, documents. Yeah, I like this one a lot. This would be like one of those files that would apply right after a clean install of Windows. It's kind of cool. So you're always going to have your shortcut icon, but it's nice and neat. Change your mind. Turn it back on with a turn on shortcut. Right click. Run as administrator. I had a rough night last night. Whew. No more Monday nights. Whew. And uh, yeah. So, let's do it again here real quick. I'm losing my train of thought. Big surprise. And as you can see, it works again. So, for some reason, you want to turn it back on, you have both options. So, once again, back up the registry if you're not sure. Very, very cool tweak. And I will mention to you, in the link, you can follow this step by step. You can click Download Now here. You can click here for the tutorial. And if you like... We're up to, what are we up to? At the time of this video, 92 registry batch and a couple PowerShell files, all in one zip file, categorized with a video tutorial. And when you download, you'll be able to extract it. And as you can see, everything's in the best we could do with categories. Really cool stuff in there. So I'll add that link to the video description too. Why not? All right, cool. As always, we appreciate you watching. See ya.